Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Fallout 4, and I'm going to be showing you today how to get the flat, the flat, the hot flame uh, armor paint, I believe is what it's called. Uh, what you'll want to find is right here. It's the Hot Rod um, magazine, so go ahead and pick that up. Uh, an issue of Hot Rod permanently unlocked a new custom paint job for your power armor. Uh, so we will go and throw that on in just a second. Um, there is a little bit of stuff that you can loot in here, not much stim packs and... Uh, some different military uh, military uh, circuit boards and stuff like that. This is at uh, the uh, robotics disposal ground. And if you can see, there's Sanctuary and there's Red Rocket Truck Stop. And it's right at kind of a little bit past the corner right here of the, the river. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, pretty easy to find. Just go ahead and plop down your thing somewhere in this area and you'll get to it. Um, it's pretty much the only building out here, so um, I'm also going to be showing you how to use uh, power armor in this area. Down here in this trunk here was a fusion, um, a fusion core, so if this armor does not come with a fusion core, uh, you can get one right there for it. So this is early power armor, even earlier than um, the power armor you get in, uh, it's a Concord, uh, so... Come down here and you will see it sitting right here for your taking. Uh, you can wait. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this is a um, if this is a random. Is this thing gonna attack me? Okay, no. If it's just a random drop power armor, because there are power armors around the map that are random. Uh, not all of them are specifically one thing or the other. So if you're looking for the X01 armor, uh, you need to be... I've heard 28 and 35. I'm not exactly sure what the level is. I am only currently level 24, I believe. So I won't be... I'm not able to find the X01 armor. Uh, but this comes with a leg, an arm, and a torso. Um, I don't believe... You're going to leave me alone, Red Stay. I don't believe there's anything else here at this Vertibird. There's also that area over there, um, but I don't believe there's anything there. If there is, I'll bring you guys a video, obviously. But let's go ahead. It does not come with a fusion core. So the fusion core that you find at the robotics disposal place comes in handy because now you can go ahead and hop in this power armor. And we'll head back to Sanctuary, and I will show you guys the custom paint job. I have a... I have a set of Brotherhood of Steel power armor, which I showed you guys. I can't fast trip, really. Fine. Fine. I will kill these things real quick in the video. All right, let's do this. Or Piper will just take care of it. Can I fast travel now? There we go. All right. Um, but I have a set of the Brotherhood of Steel power armor that I have yet to paint that I showed you guys in a previous video. Uh, the one with, uh, I think it was how to get the two free power armor, Brotherhood of Steel power armors. Um, I actually have taken those, and uh, you guys will kind of see. I set up, um, I'm setting up my power armor kind of display. I, I think I want to move it or make a better structure, but for now this works. Um, I don't have like a ton of power armor, so it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, but here it is right here. Here are the two that I stole, um, so they just kind of chill out here with these sentries. Uh, but here's kind of the collection so far. I'm missing some pieces for different parts of these armors. Uh, but this will be the one that we'll paint. I made this one a winterized. Uh, we've got the regular Brotherhood of Steel one there. Uh, we've got just the head of the X01 uh, Mark III helmet uh, that I also showed you guys how to get. This is the Piezonucleic. I showed you guys how to get that. And then this is just kind of that. I think this is the basic armor you get at the very beginning of the game. Um, but let me hop out of this power armor. Um, to line them up, uh, I could have done a better job lining up over here. You can see some are a little bit farther forward than others. Um, but the best way to do that is in first person. If you go into third person, it's kind of hard. It, what you want to do is you want to walk forward in uh, third person or walk forward in first person and then switch to third person to see how you're lined up. Uh, but let's go ahead and do this paint job. The hot rod flames here, it costs nothing uh, and it increases agility. So we'll go ahead and start throwing it on all of these uh, different pieces of armor. Uh, so um, I know someone, um, I don't know if they said it in a video or if they said it to me on Twitter, I, or I forget. Um, but they said that... Um, 
you know, I'm kind of, a, a lot of my guides there aren't guides for, but some of them you don't really need a guide, but uh, some of them people are saying, you know, they're just copying other people's videos, but half of the stuff I haven't looked up, I just come across it and then I just bring you guys a video, or I find it like a text view and then I bring it to you guys then, but there it is, it's actually a pretty cool looking uh, paint job, I like it, I'm going to be keeping it, uh, my goal, I don't know if it's, uh, if it's, feasibly possible, but I want to have a set of power armor with all of the different um, paint jobs on them, um, because I don't know, I don't even, I don't really like wearing the power armor, um, but I do like displaying it, and I do like collecting it, uh, and so that's what I'm doing currently, uh, just kind of having different paint jobs, and uh, getting a new one like this, that's absolutely free to put on all your armor, that actually looks pretty cool, uh, is pretty awesome. And then also what I wanted to tell you, I will tell you once I get the X01 complete, but one thing uh, you do want to do with this armor is make sure and go ahead and um, put a headlamp on it because you'll see here, I think it should work. Um, I don't want to move because I, um, but let me go ahead and go into third person, swing around. Actually, I think you have to have the full set, but what I wanted to say is that if you put the headlamp on it, or maybe I don't have the headlamp, uh, whatever, the point of this is, if you put the headlamp on it, you want the, whatever color the headlamp you pick is what color the eyes on this turn. Um, I'm not sure if you have to have the full suit for it to work, or if I just don't have it on, but you know what I'm saying, the headlamps, um, this actually changes the color of the eyes on these. Um, so make sure and do that if you're using the X01 helmet, uh, but that is going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, quick video, kind of shows longer than most of these little how-tos, but quick video showing you how to get a, another power armor as well as the hot flame, hot rod flames, uh, paint job. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out, guys.